Um, but so, so I think what we're both saying in so many words, emphasis on many words, is that the Celtics, shocker, breaking news, this just in, are the best team in basketball as they have been all season and are legitimately a very good team, great team. And the reason I say that is like, well, why are you saying that? Like, duh, like, okay, is, and this happens for every champion somewhere along the way, whether it's the bracket breaks your way or the other team suffers misfortune when it comes to injury. Because like the old saying is, and especially, you know, uh, apropos when it comes to the Boston Celtics, lucky the leprechaun is like, it's better to be lucky than good. The answer is, well, why not both? Yeah. Right. I think the Celtics are both in that respect. But I would say lucky also has a negative connotation. Lucky comes from a place of like, you don't deserve it. You know what I mean? Like, I think I think the, the better description for the Celtics path to the to this point in the playoffs is fortunate because fortunate is factual. Lucky is subjective. Lucky yeah. is, is l- lucky. Lucky is disrespectful. Lucky acts like we've been talking about like, oh, the Celtics ain't nothing to do with it. They just rolled out of bed and, and ended up in, 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 in the NBA finals again. Fortunate is rooted in fact, and they are fortunate that they didn't have to go through Jimmy Butler. They are fortunate that the Cavaliers were compromised in a lot of different ways, specifically as it relates to Donovan Mitchell. And certainly they're fortunate that the Pacers from the bench to the court lost their mind and they lost their best player. Again, I think those th- those things we can point out those facts without denigrating or disrespect disrespecting or uh, you know denying what the Celtics have done and who they are in their own right. I think they'd still be in this place and in this position without those breaks going their way. I mean, again, they don't have Chris Stapps Porzingis, not their best player, but a key player, and they still won seven straight. I thought that would catch up to them at some point. I, I haven't even right. I haven't even missed Chris Stapps Porzingis. Clearly, the Celtics haven't. Um, they'd still be at this point. They probably would not be 12-2 and two going into the NBA Finals, but I think they'd have still made the Finals coming out of the East regardless of who they played and regardless of the state of those other opponents. Yeah, I, and I think they do, by the way, with Porzingis. They do miss him. I mean, here's a guy who gives him 20 points, 7 rebounds, rim protection, just allows them to play in a different way. I mean, uh, let, let's look at it this way. Your, your, the drop-off at times, if you put Al Horford in the starting lineup, you, now you got the drop-off from Porzingis. You, they, they were going from Porzingis to Luke Cornett. That's a big, that's a big fall from Cor, Cor, Porzingis to when Cornett. I say they have, when, I say, when I say they haven't missed him, when I say they haven't missed him, let me be clear. When I say they haven't missed him, I mean it hasn't cost them any games. And then cost have, them any games. as good as they but, would be with him? So far, but you know, maybe they've, they've won every game without him. Maybe the storyline is affected because if you got Porzingis, who knows? Instead of sweeping Indiana in, in a close series, maybe you beat Indiana by ten points. Maybe they blow them out. Yeah, and just like okay, maybe yeah, they, they did. The, yeah, they did the Indiana what we yeah. expected. So, um, but I would say this, uh, Mike, and I was thinking about this the other day with, you know, the path. You know, the path to the finals, and this is, a, as you said, it's a very fortunate path that the Celtics have had. But if you want to go old school again, so way back in the day, the Lakers, one of the uh, great Laker teams, the 87 Lakers, um, they, they, they missed the finals the year before. Ralph Sampson and Olajuwon got to the finals, and they've lost to the Celtics. That was in 86. Next year, the Lakers, I didn't realize this, played two teams on their way to the championship, including one in the uh, Western Conference Finals, they were under 500. They played a Seattle Supersonics team that was 39 and 43 in the Western Conference Finals. Nobody, nobody, it, nobody remembers that. It, nobody remembers that. Hey, nobody remember remembers, remember, and that's right? my point. My point is, <laughs> right, right. they don't remember the path. They remember if you did the job or not. The only time in the NBA, the NBA only awards asterisk with bubbles. <laughs> And I won't, but a lot of people do. Oh, oh, you, oh! That's a bubble championship. Some people or do. Or lockouts. Right. right. The NBA doesn't. Some people do. Right. Bubbles, or lockouts. Bubbles yeah. and lockouts. Yeah. Fans remember Wait, those. No, no, three oh, three, you missed one. You missed one. You missed one. 
You missed one. You missed one. And this is not me. This is not me. I know I'm wearing this shirt today. What's the other one? What's the other bubbles? One? Bubbles, lockouts, and Jordan retirements. <laughs> those, are, those, are, those are the three. Oh, that's right. And I, and oh like, my God. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Elijah and, Wyatt wasn't, wasn't losing to nobody those so couple right. of years. But go ahead. Because 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 folks because <laughs> yeah. because folks will tell you uh, Jordan Jordan fans will tell you oh you know he would have uh, won eight won six he would have won eight but he would have won eight he would have won eight he would have won eight, <laughs> won eight. <laughs> won eight. <laughs> and you can't disprove it you can't disprove it like it's like okay well you know maybe <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah he's gonna win eight he's gonna win eight straight okay but if they yeah. if they if they win the championship nobody's gonna care. And if they don't, well, we'll be having the same conversations that we had, uh, we've had, we been having the last several years. The Celtics are good enough to get there, but not good enough uh, to get over well. the top. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.